Wait, whoa, why does the Apple Sheep care about the Galaxy S8? Well, it's because it's Apple's primary competition. I'm not getting hyped about the S8 because I'm interested in buying one. I'm getting hyped because Apple has to compete with it. Somehow Apple has to top it. I will buy the iPhone 8 no matter what anyway, but still. Samsung makes really capable phones and I'm very excited to see how they come back from the whole Note 7 debacle. So what features can we expect on this new flagship phone from Samsung? Number one, something I'd like on the iPhone 8, USB-C. Of course, they adopted it on the Note 7, but unfortunately, those are all gone now so now they have the chance to prove that USB-C on a non-explosive device can work and I'm sure Samsung during their keynote can even use the argument you can charge it with the MacBook and you can't even charge the iPhone something like that they'll bring that up there is a port you might be missing though and I feel like they're not gonna get as much hate as Apple did for this one removing the headphone jack and likely releasing their own version of AirPods or something I know Samsung already has some Bluetooth headphones out but maybe they'll give them a refresh to go alongside a new technology that might be exclusive to the S8 for a while Bluetooth 5.0 what is Bluetooth 5.0 it's just Bluetooth except better the people who develop Bluetooth technology are ready to roll it out it's able to transfer data twice as fast as before and quadruple the range so you know how your headphones might cut out when you move far away from the device Bluetooth will fix that as much as possible of course not infinite range but just better as well as transferring twice as much data so maybe Samsung will develop their own version of AirPods that kind of work within this new technology that could be far more capable deliver much higher quality audio as well as improve the range so neat of course you can expect a camera update but there's currently no rumors that they'll be adding a camera on the back like Apple did so that you can have those telephoto shots or those portrait shots that look really cool that kind of bums me out I'd like to see if Samsung sensors could mimic that or top that in a way but that's okay and maybe they have done it there's currently no leaks of what it looks like we just know a lot about it what everyone is talking about on the s 8s camera is that the front-facing camera will have autofocus apparently that's not a common feature and I can understand why it's not that important people use that for snapchat I look at those pictures very briefly and I never liked Samsung's front face facing camera anyway because it's so wide angle and they're like you can fit all your people in the frame and I'm like yeah but like when I'm just taking a regular selfie my face is like fisheye you know it looks kind of weird I always prefer the iPhone's front facing camera even if the megapixels aren't that good it's kind of zoomed in a little bit more and it can focus doesn't look as bulgy it's just in cinematography you never really want to go with a wide angle as much it makes things look less professional unless you're the revenant but I'm sure there might be a megapixel jump and there will be a HDR or an improvement with taking 360 photos or something like that but nothing too crazy in terms of like will this add 4k at 60 frames a second not yet still don't think we're ready for that unfortunately but yeah just expect a light and moderate improvement as goes with the processor and specs of course the core will be faster than before since there's no headphone jack there will likely be a battery increase which is welcomed given that samsung's phone's battery life were already very good let's just hope the battery doesn't you know kaboom oh i think they're pretty certain on making sure the samsung phones look a lot like iphones so don't expect a removable battery i'm afraid they're not bringing that back since samsung is a flagship player i think it would make sense for them to add dual speakers that's something that even the iphone has now which is usually lacking in features now it has something that galaxy phones don't and i've really loved having that anytime i want to listen to music or watch a video i don't have to cut my hand around one side and when my friends with galaxy phones do that it's so annoying that you know you're getting all this blasted out audio from one side even though samsung speakers are typically very loud they're not omnidirectional and that's what i'd like to see added something interesting that they might add before even apple does this or should i even say add rumors are they're going to be making bezels as as thin as possible possibly gone as well as moving the display further down the phone and getting rid of the physical home button a lot of people are thinking the iPhone 8 is gonna do that it's possible and that of course changes the face of Galaxy phones forever because now you have to have an on-screen button as well as on-screen multitasking back buttons they're going to build in the fingerprint reader into the display which is kind of a first but reports are just saying that the display might take up 90% of the front of the phone meaning you might get a couple thin bars at the top and bottom but other than that this will be a full screen phone with the display covering as much as possible that's gonna be really pretty and I'm curious to see what that looks like in the real world several sources are citing that Samsung might add a 4k display to the phone I don't think that's necessary but I guess Samsung is in favor of the you know Google daydream with the Android 7.0 as well as Samsung's own VR support so 4k I guess would be helpful they have released five and a half inch displays that are 4k for VR purposes but it's not yet completely confirmed if they're going to move that onto their smartphone I personally think that's gonna be really hard on your battery and really hard on the GPU and make it work harder than it needs to so that's why it might make sense to keep it at 2k because not everyone's going to be using those vr features and definitely not all day but they could you know we don't know one of the big coming up features everyone's talking about is bixby i'm hoping i'm pronouncing that right samsung's deciding that since they're kind of separate from google in a way they like to put a lot of skins on their os even though they're technically with google because they have the play store and stuff like that they want to have their own digital assistant essentially something that's really smart like the google assistant and it's voice activated and stuff like that because they're looking at microsoft they're looking at amazon and google
Google and said, hey, I want to be in that game. So maybe even a Samsung smart speaker could be coming. But they want to introduce Bixby on the S8, which will be great when we're doing all these digital assistant tests. We have another player. So now it can be Cortana, Alexa, Google Assistant versus Bixby. And then Siri's going to be like back in the corner saying, I'm not sure what you said. Because we all know Siri's kind of stupid right now. I've read several supports saying that they're actually going to get rid of the phone that doesn't have the edge display. Maybe they've decided that the edge ones are so popular that it's time to butcher off the regular rectangle display. But that doesn't mean we'll be getting one phone. It could mean we have a smaller edge phone and a bigger edge phone. S8 Plus. As long as I leave the edge out of it, I'm okay with that. Please don't call it S8 Edge Plus. That's, mm, stop. It'd also be really neat to see them move the iris scanner that was on the Note 7 onto the S8. I don't think that's very useful, but I'm sure they put a lot of work into it. And I'm sure a lot of Samsung users were fans of it. So it makes sense to bring it over here. Also, Samsung would be the kind of company to up the RAM to six gigabytes or something like that, even though I don't think you need that on a phone, but they'll do it anyway. And it's likely that they'll improve the internal storage to be 256 gigs to compete with the iPhone 7s. That's just easy catch up, just swapping out a chip. But of course, they'll advertise that you can expand the storage with a micro SD card. Some outlets are even saying that you'll have two micro SD cards to put in. Lots and lots of storage in there. And surprising, another outlet I've found said it could be a price increase, maybe 15 to 20% more expensive, which I don't know if Samsung fans are as loyal as Apple fans are, as in if the iPhone was that much more expensive, we would definitely all buy it anyway. I'm sure there's a lot of hardcore Samsung users out there, and if so, that sucks, but I mean, you're getting a good package, I'm sure. Usually the S phones came out in March, but this year they're rumoring to come out in April, so that's when you should keep your eye open. And I'm very curious to see what it's like. I'm not going to buy one for sure, but there's a lot of new innovations and new technology that Samsung is usually at the forefront of, and I can't wait to see how the iPhone competes. This is your Apple Sheep here, ironically, and I will see you in the next one.